Hey guys, Dr. Dex here. Today we are trimming out a beam and posts and soffiting. So we're still on the main deck trying to trim out the upper deck, get that all finished up so that it looks nice. If you like what you see today, don't forget to click that subscribe button. Hit the bell icon if you want to be notified every time we're putting out fresh content. All right, come on, let's check this out. So what we're doing is we're capping the bottom of the beam and we're letting it sit out further and then we're putting some five quarter by six AZEC decking in small strips to kind of match the theme of what we've got going on for the rest of the deck as far as, as a skirt detail. So now we're using it as a wrap, a beam wrap detail and we're just uh, butting them down tight onto the piece that we put in below. but. One piece of five and a half or seven and a quarter isn't going to make the width we need. So we had to rip two four and a quarter inch boards out of full width pieces to kind of create, create this look that we want. And it's time consuming because of all the multiple angles and jigs and everything that we have to create to make it work. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'm cutting all these pieces in and Nas is coming back and putting in all of these and then we'll cortex all these holes. What you see here is our waterproof bladder. And so there's eventually gonna be a gutter, but because of the shutdown right now, we don't know when the gutter people are gonna be here. So they will be coming, but the gutter will pretty much sit right here. It's gonna cap all this, these, this opening off and cover up all this stuff and it'll look really nice in here. And then there will be no more drips when it rains. Um, we'll probably show you that on Wednesday, what it's gonna do. I am gonna cut this back a little bit and open this up a little bit more. After we put the thickness of this on, it kinda only gave us about an inch gap, um, which this could get wet in the future if it rains really hard or if people are washing the deck down and things like that. So uh, that's what we're up to today. And then once we get all this finished, both sides of the beam, then we'll wrap our posts. And then once the posts are wrapped, then we're gonna do a top and bottom detail out of dark hickory uh, to kind of set the posts off and give them a more column look. And then that will be that. And then all we have left to do after that is trim the top side um, over there and in a couple different spots, and then run a bent piece of trim around the outside near the soffit, uh, where the soffit ends next to the end of the deck. So that's kind of what we're up to today. I'm not sure if we'll complete our task, but we're gonna get there. We're making good progress right now, so I think we'll probably do all right today. These metal brackets are in the way and they hang down. And if we don't, then the board isn't flush to the bottom of the beam. It's actually hanging down a little bit. So I'm scalloping the bottoms of the boards in certain spots just so we can keep a little bit straighter line. How many cuts do you have to make for these? Millions. As many as it takes, which is quite a few. 
I'm just trying to get the miter rider. <clears throat> So you've probably noticed that there is a little bit of an elevation issue right here. And that's because one board may have been cut out of a 20 footer and one board may have been cut out of a 16 footer and they're a tiny bit different in thickness. So what I do is I go back with a T20 star drive bit. Okay, so here's our depth setter, right? And that has a felt tip on it. That makes sure that we don't overdrive our screws. That's uh, provided by Fasten Master when you buy the Cortex bits or you, excuse me, when you buy the Cortex kit, the bits come with the kit. So now I'm just gonna take a standard T20 and anywhere that this board is, is higher or lower, I should say, I need to back the screws out a little bit to flush this out. If you go over here, I've already done it to this beam here, nice and flat. Okay, so that's what I'm gonna do over here because I don't wanna see this line when I'm looking up. So we just gotta be tricky and back it out so that it's nice and flush. And then it gets rid of that reveal. It's strictly cosmetic, it's not structural. We can go ahead and do that and it'll just stay in the same place. So that's how we uh, level things out. Insane in the membrane. Oh, hey. All right, guys. Uh, thanks for watching, man. I really appreciate it. If you got some great ideas on how to trim out a deck today, click that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit the bell icon. Mm. And for those of you that are just completely in love with this curved art on this deck, don't forget to go sign up for Dr. Dex Masterclass. Learn how to be a heat bender just like me. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.